I'm Steve Shamrez. Here are your TMJ4 News headlines. Kyle Rittenhouse is back in Wisconsin to face homicide charges. The 17 year old is charged with killing two protesters in Kenosha and injuring a third during protests in August. His defense team argues it was self defense, but they've also been trying to block his extradition to face those charges. And their challenge was that the charging documents on their face were not proper. Uh, we argued that they were, uh, and the judge agreed, and that's why he's being extradited. Uh, in any case like this, any prof high profile case, we certainly worry about the safety of, of any inmate, uh, whether they're here or Kenosha. But, uh, you know, we have full faith in their ability to keep him safe. Rittenhouse's attorneys say they plan to appeal. Four days from the election, presidential candidates holding dueling rallies in Wisconsin. President Trump rallying supporters Friday in Green Bay. He's got one more stop planned in the state before Election Day. Monday night, he'll be at the Kenosha Regional Airport. Meanwhile, the Democratic challenger Joe Biden meeting with supporters at Mitchell International Airport in Milwaukee, his third stop in the Midwest on his busiest day of the campaign with events in Iowa, Minnesota and Wisconsin. Those visits come as Wisconsin surpassed 5,000 new cases of coronavirus in a single day. 5,096 new cases reported Friday. The only other day over 5,000 was just Tuesday. That was our all time high. Governor Evers has a forceful message about masks. If we want to do this right and stop it in its tracks, people have to wear a freaking mask. Now let's go to meteorologist Brian Goddard for a check of the weather. Hey, the sunshine returned for Friday, but boy, was it cold with temperatures in the upper 30s to lower 40s. It's going to be a cold night once again. Frosty conditions with temperatures dropping right around that freezing mark and a bright moon overhead. Hey, a warm front moves in for Saturday. Southerly winds at 30 to 45 miles per hour. It does warm us up into the mid 50s, but it's going to be windy for those trick or treaters. Then the cold front comes in here Sunday morning, 38 degrees with 50 mile per hour winds. Windy on Monday at 48 and Election Day looks great. That's a look at your forecast. Here's some local news.